In today's lesson, I want to show you a simple formula that can help you solve this ballistic pendulum problem. So we have a 70 gram bullet moving east at 400 meters per second, and it strikes a 1.2 kilogram block on the right and becomes embedded in it. Now, how high will the bullet block system rise, rise above its original point? That is, we need to calculate why. For this specific problem, if the bullet remains embedded in it, if it blasts through the block, this formula won't work. But for this spe specific situation, you could use this formula. It's 1 over 2g times mv over the sum of the two masses. And we need to square it. Capital M represents the mass of the block. Lowercase m represents the mass of the bullet in kilograms. G is 9.8, and v is the initial speed of the bullet. So let's go ahead and plug everything in. The mass of the bullet is 70 grams. We need to convert that to kilograms. To convert grams to kilograms, divide by 1,000. So 70 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.07 kilograms. And the speed of the bullet is 400 meters per second. And then we need to divide it by the total mass, the mass of the bullet and the mass of the block, which is 1.2 kilograms. Then we need to square the result. So I'm going to do this one step at a time. First, I'm going to multiply 400 by 0 0.07. And then I'm going to divide that by 1.27. So that's 22.0472. Then I'm going to square it, which is 486, and then divide it by 2 times 9.8, which is 19.6. So this will give you a height of 24.8 meters. So in an older video, I have this exact problem, but to solve it, I show you the process of setting up the formulas in order to get the right answer. But with this video, we just have a simplified formula that will get you directly to the answer. But I'm going to post the older video in the description section for those of you who want to use both methods. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now let's work on a similar but slightly different problem. So in this problem, we want to find the initial speed of the bullet before it collided with the block. We're given the height of which the bullet block system rises above its initial point, and that's 4.5 meters. We know the mass of the bullet, the mass of the block. We just need to calculate the speed of the bullet, the initial speed, that is. So how can we do that? Well, here's another formula that we could use. The initial speed is going to be the sum of the two masses divided by the mass of the bullet times the square root of 2gy, where y is the height of or how much the bullet block system rises above its initial point. So this is y. So the mass of the bullet, we have a 50 gram bullet. If we divide that by 1,000, that's going to be a point. 0 0.05 kilogram bullet. The mass of the block is 1.3 kilograms divided by the mass of the bullet times the square root of 2 times g times the height which is 4.5. 0 0.05 plus 1.3 that's 1.35. 2 times 4.5 times 9.8, that's 88.2. So once you plug in everything, you should get this answer. The initial speed is 253.5. 57 meters per second. So that's a quick and simple way 
that you could use to calculate the initial speed of the bullet for the ballistic pen pendulum problem. By the way, you could find these formulas in addition to the other one in the formula sheet that I'm going to post in the description section below. So if you have a test on momentum coming up, I definitely recommend checking out that formula sheet because it's going to have the notes, the formulas that you need to really do well on that upcoming exam.